So today I'm going to share my core drilling setup that I use for cording all my jade work. It's a simple Princess Auto drill press, a bucket for catching my water, and a bucket with my water. And it just runs on a siphon to the Selexi hose. Uh, Fair selection uh, core drills, all diamond coated. My clamping setup for this is pretty simple. It's just a piece of wood, an eye bolt, a nut and a washer on the back side utilizing these uh, slots here. And I'll just put it over the piece, line up where I'm going to core, hold it down, and give that eye bolt a tighten. She'll hold, it, hold her steady. Um, you always want to make sure there's a soft backing beneath where you're coring. Otherwise, when you when you pop through, you can you can blow out some jade material out the backside, and you can also wear your uh, core bit pretty quickly that way. Okay, the piece of jade is clamped in, we're ready to start coring. We'll just turn on the water. Pop it into place where we want it, and uh, start coring. So the technique with coring here is, uh, I'll show you. you. Drill for a little bit, you'll let off. That'll let the bit cool down and let water to come in. So you get a feel of how long you need to, to pause for and you'll get kind of a, a rhythm going on with this. Now when you're ready to pop through, either you can measure for how far down your drill press is coming or just pop through. But there's two methods for that. You can drill all the way through, your core bit will pop out and you always run the risk of breaking some jade off the backside when you do that way or you can drill through until you're just about through and you can stop then you'll go to another machine and you can grind that core out uh, you could hear and you can hear and feel when it uh, when it breaks through you can see here it's still popped out a little bit of material at the backside. But depending on how critical your work is that you're doing, it might just be part of the carving and you can clean it all up. Frequently your core might get stuck in there. So I just keep a little piece of wire handy. And you can pop it out. Thanks for watching.